let's take a look through the New Musical Express. This is the weekly issue, dated the 20th of September 1980. Front cover, XTC. Feature in the centre pages. Also in this issue, features on Bolan and Hendrix, and reviews of Bowie and Special's new albums. The music charts for that week. UK singles. Clash at number 10. Reissue of Paranoid at 19. New entries from Madness. And Split Ends. And also Stevie Wonder. Master Blaster. UK albums. Number one signing off. It's the ACDC. New entry from Kate Bush. Lovely picture of Kate. Dead Kennedys at 23. Susan the Banshees, 27. US singles for that week. And the US albums. A few soundtracks. And on the UK indie charts, Joy Division Rule. So news for that week. Ruts have a new name, Ruts DC, following the death of singer Malcolm Owen. Tour dates for Orchestra Manoeuvres in the Dark. And also for UB40, who are celebrating the success of their debut album, number one in this week's chart. Elvis Costello has a 20 track set released on cassette only. Forthcoming gig news. Rossington Collins Band arriving in the UK for dates. Slade released an EP following the success of their Reading Festival gig. Stray Cats in the UK. Feature on the B-52s. Lovely photos here. Cindy and Kate. Their feature continues. They've just released their second album, Wild Planet. Feature on the band, Prison Life. So 
some dates for Yes in the UK, November and December 1980, promoting their album Drama. Featuring Diana Ross. We saw she had the number one single in the US. Feature on Mark Bolan. It's three years following his tragic death. Independent television are now repeating five of his shows from the original Mark series. Great picture of there of Mark. Look a bit like Donovan. You do get some fantastic photos in these old uh, musical magazines. This is a nice feature. It's part one. Uh, part two is in next week's issue. This covers his, uh, his early years and the band Tyrannosaurus Rex. Including a discography from 1965 to 1970. singles and albums. Singles for this week. This doesn't look like a good crop. Single of the week is Donna Summer. Some are good, the rest aren't. We do have orange juice and the police. The rumour and Paul McCartney. Furniture, new single from Pete Townsend. So here's the feature on Jimi Hendrix. Passed away ten years ago this week. This is a personal tribute written by Paul Dunoyer. Very interesting read. A lot of um, personal recollections as well. Centre spread is XTC. They're in Spain. They're supporting the police on some gigs. So the writer went with them on their tour bus. Those were the days. Review of Bowie's new album, Scary Monsters. A lot to read through, but it is a good review. Other albums that week? Captain Beefheart. Specials album more. New album from the Skids, The Absolute Game. A 
Mit den Jobsen. New album from Jethro Tull. A. Doesn't get a good writer. I don't think Tull were ever particularly lauded by the music press. Help from the Piranhas. Help from the Birds, the original single, 65 to 67. New album from The Rumour. Film reviews this week. For Urban Cowboys. We saw the soundtrack was a US number one album. Also, Xanadu's coming out. The new Al Pacino film. Gigs for that week. Some marquee, you could have seen The Passions, or Temple Tudor. Dead Kennedy's coming to Ding Walls. Date for Rory Gallagher in September 1980. Steppenwolf. Chicken Shack at the Lyceum, Tags of Pantang, this powerhouse supported by Dead or Alive, The Music Machine, The Nationwide Gig Guide, Tourists Are Out on the Road. It's always interesting to look at the small print of these things because we see for example, on the Thursday in that week, if you've been to Bradford St George's Hall, there's Ozzy Osbourne's Blizzard of Oz. And way down here on the Monday, we have at the London Marquee, you too. Some other dates, Hammersmith Palais, Dr Feelgood. XDC in Manchester. Slade with Joan Jett. Skids and the Ramones and the Specials UB40. All coming up at Liverpool Rotters. This is a fascinating read. This is a two page review of the two day Futurama Music Festival. So here we had Susie playing. You two were here. Echo and the Bunny Men. Picture there, Jimmy Lydon. Claire Grogan, altered images. Robert Fripp's band was playing. I'll just pause over the Susie and the Banshees review. This is a review of the Rotterdam Pop Festival. Ramones, UB40, Hazel O'Connor. Undertones, bad manners, and others. 
over nine separate stages. Fergal Sharkey. Joey Ramon. Review of Kisses gig at the Empire Pool, London. Have some small ads and the crossword. I like a crossword. Okay, five across. Goodbye from UB4, T73. We know that's signing off. Number 12 across, she's in the shrubbery. So I think that's Kate Bush, 4-4. Four, four. 16 down. I'm the man was his WLP. It was Joe Jackson. Send a page right up about you. XTC in Spain continues here. Lots of good quotes from Partridge, as you would expect. A few more gig dates. We've got the specials coming up to the Bracknell Sports Centre. You could have bought a Vespa. Some gossip snippets. Bob Geldof. Bono and Newman. A bit more there about the skids. And the back page is promoting a tour on stiff records of various artists, including the Equators from Birmingham, Tempo Tudor from God knows where. All around the UK, September through to November 1980. That's it. Thanks for watching.